Hey guys, we are looking at the ZWO 50 mil, or 60 millimeter uh, guide scope here that just came in the mail. We're gonna be unboxing that and just taking a quick look at yeah, what's in the box and um, what to expect when you're ordering this product. So um, we're gonna get right to it. Um, I am ordered this in hopes that I can mount it to my 102 um, millimeter triplet um, Explore Scientific refracting telescope. So um, the guy at Explore Scientific told me that was the way to go with that. And so that's what we're gonna try to do here. So here it is, she's in the box. Um, comes with a little Allen wrench. Uh, I'm not quite sure, I'm guessing for mounting. Um, so you can see that here. And there she is. I'm gonna try to set my phone down here so we can, there we go. So we're gonna take it off the connector here. You can see it's got the, um, I think Miade style mounting uh, base here. Um, try to get a good view of that in the camera here. There you go. And it looks like it's screwed into a Vixen style um, mounting base. So really you could use either one, uh, whichever one you'd like with that. So we're gonna go ahead and just unscrew these um, rings here so that we can take this plastic off. Have to go this way. Oh no, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, sure making this difficult. Um, gotta loosen them up here a little bit more. Come on. We're just gonna go with the uh, animal animal route here. Animalistic route here. Try to just rip this plastic off. Hope you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm not really doing a lot. Just gonna go to the Yep. I think I couldn't get it off because there was so much plastic in there. Um, you can see now we've uncovered the scope, and there she is. Wow, this thing is this thing is bigger than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know if you know maybe others know more about this than I do, but. Um, Looking at it online, I thought it'd be a little smaller than this, but this is gonna work great. This is, this is exciting, so. Um, there it is, the 60 millimeter ZWO guide scope. Um, again, for mounting on my Explore Scientific 102 um, APO triplet refracting telescope, so. Um, I did have to buy some um, socket screws. I think the measurements were quarter inch by 20 um screws that were about three quarters to an inch long i got both sizes because i'm going to do some testing here and um i'll be adding that to the end of this video once i get that um, all set up but um yeah we're going to continue looking here um you can see it comes with the lens cap for the for the actual glass there you can see that there there's the glass um yeah some nice nice uh, marines here for it and we're gonna go ahead and pull this, pull this off. And there's our little focuser there, and that's where we're gonna be mounting, um, where I'm gonna be mounting my camera, uh, my guiding camera. Um, it's actually gonna be a ZWO guiding camera, so this should work out great here. I'm having a hard time getting this off here. There we go. And you can see just some collapsing rings here. There isn't actually Try to get a better view of this. It's kind of hard with this light. Um, there is no actual um, threads on that. Um, you're just going to be collapsing on your your guide scope with the with the thumb screws here. Um, so um, yeah, that's um, that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's much else to say here, but um, it looks great. I'm excited to use it, and um, we're going to continue the video here once I get to mounting it to my. Uh, one or two. All right, so we're on to the second part of my video of my unboxing of my ZWO here And we're gonna be looking at mounting this to the carrying handle on the Explore Scientific 102 um, ED 102 CF carbon fiber version here, so um, So basically when talking with Explore Scientific online what they told me was that the 
um, the guide scope here, uh, base that they have included with the Explore Scientific uh, telescope is actually a MIAID slash Explore Scientific proprietary base. Um, and that just means that you can't mount anything besides a MIAID or a Explore Scientific guide scope to this um, base here, which uh, God knows why they did that. Um, because the, uh, because Explore Scientific doesn't even actually make any guide scopes. And so that was an interesting decision, but they did, however, create a, with the guide, with the um, carrying handle here, they do have a slit that runs down the middle and you can see that here, um, which I believe they put in place for this reason so that you could mount a guide scope such as the ZWO here um, to this, um, to the, to the telescope, sorry. And then, um, yeah, so that's, there's two options basically when it comes down to this Explore Scientific uh, Series Telescope. Um, you can mount something like this onto this rail um, using some of these socketed um, screws, or you can buy an adapter actually that allows you to mount pretty much any, you know, Orion, Celestron, any sort of guide scope that you want onto there. It's like a $25 buy. Um, you just have to do some quick Googling to find out. Um, that adapter, but I'm going the ZWO route. The guy in line suggested that I go this route because it's going to be the most stable because you don't have a series of adapters um, on here and kind of giving you like a little extra space off of the scope and things. So um, I just went with his suggestion and so I'm going to give that a try here. Um, he suggested this size of um, socket cap screws, um, quarter inch, 20 by one inch, he set up three quarter inch. I got one inch and I also got a bunch of other ones because I didn't want to drive back and forth to Home Depot um, many times. So I actually got several different sizes, but I'm gonna give these a go here. They might be too long and I did get three quarter inch, um, you know, a quarter inch shorter screws to try. So um, we're gonna give this a try here. I'm gonna grab this box so I can set my, set my phone on that here so you can see what's going on. Um, so yeah, with this we have like I said, the two bases on here. So I'm gonna take off, um, I did an initial test and this screw does actually screw in here uh, perfectly. So I think, assuming the one underneath is the same, we should be good to go. I might just have to get a different screw that's a little shorter if it's too long. So I'm gonna start by just unscrewing this. Um, I hope you can see there. I'm gonna start by unscrewing this, um, this base that was added here, this uh, narrower base. Um, so we can get to the other base underneath. You can see it's coming off here. I'm just using the um, Allen wrench that came with the uh, with the guide scope here. So there now you can see we have the five um, slots here for the socket screws. And basically what he suggested is at least two of them. Um, I think I do only have two at this time. And so what we're gonna do is run a one of these socketed screws up underneath these underneath this um, slit into the guide scope here into the base of this guide scope these these five um, slots here so we're gonna give that a try here um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a view of this as I'm doing it but um, we'll give it a shot here I don't know if it's aiming too far out of the way or what but we'll give it a shot so I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna make sure that these screws again screw into this. And it looks like we're gonna be just fine. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put one on each end, uh, one, one on each end of the, of the guide scope here and try to um, attach it that way. And it probably would be easier to do this without the, okay, let's see here. We are going to have some sort of issue with, we need to take the actual scope, um, the rings off the scope here so that we can get to it. There we go. So, pretty nifty little thing there. So I think, let's see if we can get these up through here. Okay, we could. I was just limited in my space. So I'm going to go ahead and set, and I'll grab you a view of this here in a second. Um, so you can kind of see what, what's going on here. <clears throat> so I'm running, like I said, I'm running these two screws up through here and into the base of these two holes. That's all we're doing. I did grab some 
washers as suggested from the guy um, on the line. So we're gonna go ahead and throw, pull two of these out and throw those on the bottom of the screw. <coughs> and now I can't get them out of there. There we go. So these should work great um, just for tightening that up a little bit. Looks like we're a perfect fit. And those are just quarter inch, uh, just basic stainless steel flat washers. I mean, there's, there's nothing fancy going on here with those. Okay, so that's not gonna stay by itself. So we're just gonna have to do one at a time here. I'm not really doing anything. If you can't see very well on the camera, I'm not doing anything uh, important here. I'm actually just trying to get this other screw out of here. Just giving me a heck of a time. there so again we're gonna go back here I'm gonna slide that up through there and right into there we go we are we are connected so there goes our first screw and it looks like it's gonna work perfectly um, so that's pretty exciting I'm glad I don't have to do any sort of send back with this, you can see I'm just sending the screw up through the base there into the base of the guide scope uh, on the Explore Scientific. So let's just do the other one real quick. And it looks like these, well, actually I'll hold off on saying that, but I think this is gonna be about the perfect length. These uh, one inch long screws here. This is going to be kind of tough to figure out. I'm just aligning this up here, and I think we got it. And there we go. We have it mounted now on the carrying handle for the Explore Scientific. You can see here that those are gonna be about the perfect length, one inch ones. You could probably get up, get away with a three quarter inch, but um, it's, it's nice to have the extra length um, just for stability. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tighten these up with the Allen wrench and then we'll be uh, good to um, mount the rings back or put the telescope back on the rings and. Um, I'm gonna skip that and just skip right to when it's actually mounted because that's pretty straightforward. So, and there we go. We have the finished product here. Got the ZWO 60 millimeter uh, attached to the ED102 carbon fiber Explorer Scientific refraction telescope. Um, I've said that three times now. Um, it's kind of a mouthful. So there, there, good. There it is. Um, it's a little, you know, it's a little high off the off the scope, but that's all right. It's really, it's very nice. And it's very stable. Um, on the scope, which is great, and there's still room for the, um, if you do want to put some sort of finder scope on there as well, um, you can do that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope this helps someone out there who's kind of wondering the same thing I was wondering how I was going to get in the guide scope on these Explorer Scientific and just what kind of comes with the, uh, the ZWO here. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.